Alright, welcome back. We're going to finish up the rectangles now. So let's start with the function. This dot intersects equals function shape. Because maybe later on down the line we'll have different things more than just rectangles. So if we pass a rectangle in here, or maybe we make a circle or anything else, we'll pass it in as a shape, and we'll just use shape. Each shape may have a, its own difference. So we'll just make that difference called offset. So if let's say for instance we're dealing with uh, circles we we would say if shape dot radius is not equal to null then offset equals shape dot re radius the reason for this is because when we do circles we would be drawing from the center and so its position would be its center of uh, the center of the circle now if you have taken geometry you know that the radius is half of the circle so if we go from the center and add the radius that's half the circle we will get the edge of the circle which is what we're gonna need so that's just set up for now we might use it later and if we don't it won't bother anything so let's start off if shape dot x minus the offset is greater than or equal to this dot x and I'll just make a new line for each one of these because this is going to be a long if statement we're checking a lot of things so if shape uh, and if shape dot x minus uh, offset is greater than or sorry is less than or equal to this dot x plus this dot width now we want to do the same thing except for the y so let's just copy that whole statement change these to y and change this to height alright so now we're done with finding the top left position and seeing if it's inside of this rectangle so let's start our or so we're checking something else now this dot x is greater than or equal to uh, the shape dot x minus offset alright sorry about that and now we want to say uh, we want to say the other thing this dot x is less than or equal to shape dot x minus offset plus shape dot width now we want to go on to the next line and say this dot y is greater than or equal to shape dot y minus offset and this dot y is less than or equal to shape dot y minus offset plus shape dot height so now we're going to go on and check the next portion we're going to say shape dot x oh yeah I spelled that right minus offset plus shape dot width is greater than or equal to this dot x and shape dot x minus offset plus shape dot width is less than or equal to this dot x plus this dot width so the next check is going to be shape dot y minus offset is greater than or equal to this dot y um, shape dot y minus offset is less than or equal to this dot y plus this dot height and now we want to go to our next set which is going to be this dot x plus this dot width is greater than or equal to shape dot x minus offset and this dot x plus this dot width is less than or equal to shape dot x minus offset plus shape dot width and our next one is going to be this dot y is greater than or equal to shape dot y minus offset and our very last check is going to be this dot y less than or equal to shape 
dot y minus offset plus shape dot height. Now considering I went through that uh, correctly, we're going to return true there, else return false. And remember to put our terminator at the end of that because it's part of this little function. We want to put our terminators at the end of each function within our object as well because they'll also cause problems if not. So this is a big huge if statement. We have this big if statement that asks for shapes and offsets and x's and widths and heights. But basically what we're doing is checking the various parts of both shapes as if they were rectangles. We're treating them both as rectangles, basically. So, if I were to draw it out here, we have a one rectangle and another rectangle. Let's say it intersects right there. So our first check checks to make sure that our X and Y position, which is this corner, is inside of this rectangle. We can see that right here. We can check and see if the shapes.x minus offset is greater than this x and the offset is greater than the x minus width and the same thing for the y. That's how we can tell whether this point of this shape, whatever it is, a circle or whatever, we still treat it the same, is within the, our current rectangle. Then we want to check other things because we don't just want to check that because what if our rectangle was over here? Then we would also have to check this one. That's why we now we check the current one, which we do in one of the or, or statements, uh, which is right here. We check if this x and y, we just roll reversal. This one checks is the incoming rectangle, if it's x and y is within it, and this one checks the current rectangle and see if it's x and y is within it. Now, that could also cause a problem to say if, what if it was like this? Now we don't, now this is not, the x and y is here and the x and y is here. So it would return and say, well, they're not intersecting, but they are because now we need to check the x position here plus its width here so that we can check it. We basically add the width in each one. We do the same thing we do here, just add the width and add the height and we can check whether the the each rectangle or each shape intersects at any point so that is basically how this script works to check if two shapes collide so that is pretty simple uh... well not simple that took that took me a while to come up with this big long thing i knew what to do it just takes a while to write it out and sometimes you get it wrong but here it is uh... i you can pause and copy this down i'll go from the top just pause it and copy and then get the contains copy that and then get the this intersect function so copy this and the last part so if you pause the video and uh, copy down all of that code which I may provide the source code and if I do I'll put it in the description down below um, we now have a fully functional rectangle and we need to now just see it so in order to see it I will uh, I'll stop this video and make the uh, video 2 part 3 as this is part one, uh, 2 part 3 showing how we can use it within the canvas and see if two shapes collide so I will start on that video right now